Okay, welcome back. Um, this uh, is a program where I will teach you some basics and also some shortcuts. So firstly, if you see here, um, this is uh, the title we write. The title is to be written here. Uh, this means what this program is all about. You could write uh, about this program. This is like a comment, but uh, comments are different in uh, assembly language. We can put comments, for example, I want to comment this, that this is the data segment. So that is like this, colon, and then you can write anything, whatever you want. Like uh, print this message, whatever. So this is a comment. That means this will not be taken up by the assembler later on. This is just in your source code because the, whatever you have written is called this file is the source code, and uh, then we have to assemble it because computer will not understand this English language. It, it understands only zeros and ones, so we have to assemble this program later on. Not only assemble but also to link. Now, if you could see here, I will go, go quickly to this. Uh, we have the segments. This is the data segment, and uh, this is data end. S and S means end segment. Now there's a code segment and this is a code ends. Basically, our memory is divided into the segments. Mm, better, I will show it here a little bit. For example, uh, this is our memory. Oh, it's not writing. For example, this is our memory, for example. We have basically four segments in it one, two, three, and four. One for the data, so maybe this is a data segment and then one for the core segment and one is for the stack segment and one is the extra segment so your data whatever data you will put in you will put in here so this for example, this message uh, was a db that means data byte we could say dw data word that means uh, it will be having words uh, assigned all of these characters j u and they will occupy one one word but it's a data byte that means each character will occupy one one byte that means eight bits so um, we could have many others like uh, cod word 10 bytes like that mm, that you will see from the book now you see here I have defined a message here uh, with the data byte this is the message and this message uh, because this is in a data segment so this will be in this segment DS and whatever code I will write that code will be occupied in this code segment okay and if I have a stack uh, something to be stored on the stack which will see later on we need stack all the time that will be put here and if there's also some other things we will use later on uh, that's up to the programmers discretion that will be put in here extra segment but extra segment can be used for multiple things but data segment will be used for only data code segment for the code and stack segment for the stack now the beginning of the addresses the where from you know um, this data segment has some starting address some ending address okay basically we have four the segments in the memory we could have um, more than four means I have data segment I could have two data segments but at a time only one will be active so we can have more than one uh, segments so these segments I'm talking about this is a memory the RAM you could say but uh, it this data segment will have some address code segment will have some address stack segment will have some <coughs> sorry stack segment will have some address those have to be stored into the segment registers what we have uh, learned in the last video that we have stack uh, segment register we have data segment register so these uh, wh where from the data segment starts have to be stored in the register Similar words, the code segment starts have stored into the register called code segment register. So that's what we are doing here is a code segment. Then we are saying, saying assume CS is to code, DS is to data. First, we are saying this data is actually the data segment. And this code, what we have labeled, we could have put anything else. We're going to say well, any any name. It's not necessarily you put code here. Anything we have, we, we, this is a usual way of writing things, um, but we could write anything here. Uh, that what we have to link it with the DS that we have to say data is to data if we say here beta or meta or your name or Juni 
but we'll say ds is to journey to link it so this is immaterial what we write here getting it or not so next thing is um next thing is uh, this thing uh, the data uh, this, this is the first start label the start label is important because this tells the assembler to start right from here that means your code starts from here we have to write the start and end the program with the end start okay also we have code segment basically here and it's end code ends end segment is here so this is all the code segment first thing is the assume that we have to assume that this data is for the data segment and the, this code CODE what we have written here is for the code segment I have also I'll told you that we could write here anything else now second thing is we have to say for example the, we said uh, move this is the first thing which we, you will see in all assembly languages that put this data into the AX register accumulator which I have explained in the last video and then put this AX in the DS so what we are basically doing is we are putting the address of data um, sorry not this one this one we are this is a data segment okay we are putting the address of this data segment this address into the DS register this one this is the DS register okay we're putting in here why don't we put directly data to the DS but we cannot do uh, direct uh, memory allocations to the segment registers so we have to use some general purpose register so AX accumulator is the general purpose register so I put first data into the accumulator then accumulator to the data segment okay so we could do it like that so are getting me or not so what I am telling you is we have to first this is the code what we call as boiler palette code this you will see in all assembly languages where we have to put the first the data segment into the DS we don't use this this thing for the code segment but we have to use this thing for um, st stack segment as well as for the extra segment uh, code segment is initialized as such so data if you have data segment if you have stack segment if you have extra segment we have to initialize it like this we have to put data into the AX then AX into the data segment register DS register Similarly, we have stake segment, we have to put stack segment into some, maybe AX, and then AX into the SS stack segment. Similarly with the extra segment. Now, next thing, what I will do is I have to print this message. How I will print this? We, I have, uh, uh, we have actually in the assembly some interrupts. This is the DOS interrupt call. This int 21H is the DOS interrupt call. We are calling actually the DOS. And when assembler sees interrupt 21H, it, it will see at that time what is in an AH. And at that time, AH is 09H. This means you're going to print something. The 09H function, which is uh, for printing, a citrine, actually. So we have to load the message, this message, its address, because this message will be somewhere in the memory. So this message will be somewhere in this data segment, in somewhere here, maybe here. So it will have some address here. This is the message I will have written here. So this will have some address. This address is to be loaded first in some register. So we load that in what? In the DX register because interrupt 21 H's function 09H works on the DX register. So we have, to, we have to load this into the DX register, then it will be printed. And this is to exit. You have to put in AH register 4CH. This is again the interrupt 21H call to get back to the DOS. This is to say goodbye. And then code ends and end start and if we run it uh, I have already linked it so I will say this was intro so let's say first awesome if you want to assemble it intro intro1 so then we link it to link intro1 and I will run it so that's it Unity assembly step by step that's all for this program